everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. How are you all? In today's video, I would like to show you how you can achieve a galaxy background with just soft pastel and with the additional help of pencil. So, this page I done in January. Yes, me being me, I forgot to include it in my all my January finished pages, but here you go. <laughs> um, so this page is from Daydream, which is also called Dagroma, I'm pretty sure, from Hannah Calzone. And for her first book, she has several pages of, you know, just a bland shape that she draw similar like this and she will suggest you to draw in your own pattern and doodles and such but I don't have time for that and so I was thinking something like quick so I use my soft pastel and I make a galaxy and so I posted on Instagram and a lot of you guys so interested on how I do this page uh, it is a really quick and easy page so I'm really excited that I can finally show you today I'm not gonna use this daydream book today but I will use the Ivy and the Inky Butterfly this one is by John Hannah Basford and the page I will do will be this one uh, the reason why I picked this particular page is because I think it look boring to me. Um, like it doesn't have a lot of artwork on it. So I thought I may transfer it to a galaxy as I don't really follow the text of the ivy and the inky butterfly to actually colors in to it match with the text what I say. Um, so I'm just gonna do it. As galaxy sky instead so what you will need for the to do this background I won't say background but you can use it as a background um, you will use you will need soft pastel uh, any brand will do uh, I will use mostly the Mungio pastel and maybe a little bit of the Reese so that's your soft pastel and of course you need some makeup pad to blend out the color and then you will need acrylic I'll just use a uh, white acrylic you don't need all the colors but you will need some acrylic the white one to make some start with it at the end you will also need an old toothbrush to also make star I'll use white gel pen this one a Unibo signal broad to add some you know extra star that you think when the acrylic don't go into the the right spot so I'm gonna use this and you also need some uh, pencil this one is polychromo I'll use polychromo for this because I like how the polychromo lay down on top of the soft pastel better but I will also add in some white and black from the Prisma colors the reason is because they are very opaque so I like them but just the black and white and you also need some sort of brush just to dust off the the, the pastel dust and a blight <laughs> um, no um, this one is my palette so I just put colors on to mix the color and you will need something similar like that too and you also need some uh, wet wipe I run out of my wet wipe so I'm gonna use this facial wipe just to wipe off your finger because you're gonna actually use your finger today we're gonna have some real fun and let's get started so what I would like to do I will go in with my soft pasta first it's very straightforward um, but you will need a piece of paper I suggest you get a, a piece of paste but that is a little bit bigger than the page that you're working on because just in case the soft pasta will you know stuck into the gap right here when you blend them so I just use a piece of paper add in the back and let's get started 
I will show you how to do the blue galaxy because I think it look a little bit different than you know let's say a pink and purple galaxy depends on what colors you have you will need some so you will need some uh, green this one is sort of like a blue purple green it's very very nice green this one will be our um, mostly main color and I will also use this kind of blue right here this is a soft softer blue and I is also gonna be our most main colors in, in this I'm gonna use this too and you also need some sort of like just just normal blue just a dark blue you will need to experiment with your soft pastel just wash them out see what you got and you can use those and you also need some really dark dark blue and of course some black I'm gonna use some black I think this one is a black yeah so you're gonna use some black as well and if you have um, purple you can use purple I'll use some purple in in it as well so you have mostly blue like a cool tone galaxy so we're gonna use this one today so I let you see all the colors again and just try to match up with your soft pastel if you have the same brand that I am I use the Mungio pastel this one uh, if you have the same brand then you obviously you have you will find exactly the same colors that I do so let's get started I will do like some light color in the middle just need some imaginations see where you're gonna put your colors um, usually I would do some really really bright blue in the middle and then surround it is a black color so I'm just gonna add in this color right here and you're just gonna go straight in don't be scared just gonna go straight in and make some drawing here um, I make some thin like so and then I make really really big really bright down here And they're gonna like release a lot of dust, but don't don't worry too much. Um, I'll do some light come out from here. And you don't need to press the soft pastel very hard. You just need to go as to go down. And I'll do some right here as well. Um, and and I add in you know the green the green this one right here and I was just gonna add in the the edges just a little bit on the edges some of them not all of them add some here Now you're gonna add in a little bit of this um, just a soft blue right here this one right here this one's just a bit darker because we need some transition dark color to to the black both of them both sides And then I will use a darker 
blue, like sort of like an indigo blue right here and then I will also add next to the blue that you just add because you're gonna, you're gonna do some transition from from light color to dark If you scare, <laughs> um, I think this is gonna be. It gonna it look like a mess now, but don't worry. It blend out. Uh, once it blend out, it look really really nice. And when you add the star, it will look really really nice too. So don't worry. I will use a makeup pad and make sure you do the light color first so make sure you uh, you don't do the dark color so i would do from here let's try here let's see you just wrap it there Just pick another pad and you blend out the dark color. Don't worry, it will look like a mess now, but you will add more color and it will look be okay. You just need to blend it out first before you add more color. Be careful you don't go the dark color into the light color. So now you have that. It looks quite a mess now, right? But you're gonna add in the black. So let's say right here. I just use my finger because it's a little bit more precise. The reason why I add the black after I do all the color first is because I don't want the black. I accidentally mud the black into the color. You see, I just use my finger and paint it out. And you really need to like go in and rub it. Um, I rub it quite hard like not like really really hard but I do put a little bit of pressures on it now you just go back and forwards with all your color As you can see I really use my finger but just watch where you go like when you go near the the light color just like lift up your finger a little bit and make it like you just like when you do with pencil you're gonna do uh, light pressure so you're gonna sort of blend it in but don't blend in too much if that makes sense And it's really fun this way. I find it quite like fun because you know like how when you was young, you used, we are young, we play with dirt. <laughs> um, so it's really fun for me. 
I don't know if anyone like this, but for me it's really really fun. So now my finger really dirty. I need to wipe it off so I can work on the right area more. So now what you would do, you stand up the book and you let the pasta fall out itself like that because you don't want and then now you can actually use your uh, brush and you just dust it off because you don't want to dust it off dust it when there's so many dust on it you will run into the chance you dust and then the dark color will rub into your bright color then I go back in with the green now I just wanna make it a bit more green right here this is a pretty pretty green so it's very essential to go in with the makeup pad at the star the reason why is because if you go from the star with your finger you will run into the chance of it rub your your oil the the oil from your finger onto the paper and it will leave like really weird um, mark it won't blend properly so this is what I like to do I go in the base first with the makeup pad and then I just go in the reds with my finger and then remember to use say the web wipe constantly just to wipe your finger it's very very messy it is a messy ad and then I go back in with the lightest blue that you have so now you are just gonna make it as saturated or as bright as you like Then next you're gonna use like the purple color I like to add some purple in but if you don't like add purple that's it fine um, I'm just gonna add in a little bit because I felt that the purple make it very very nice addition to the blue So you have that and you have your white I'll use this white just to add in a few lines like so because in galaxy sometimes you see those uh, really white light like white beam and it just make things pop a little bit more And I was using my finger and I blend out that wire a little bit, making it softer because I don't want it too rough. And now I think I'm done with the base, but if you want to go back in more, um, you can but I think I've done now with the paste color so this is a brand I use uh, I use a J Burroughs uh, workable fix fixity this one make sure when you buy this um, fixative spray make sure it's, it's say matte finish because if you buy the glossy finish one you won't be able to add pencil or anything on top so you need to get the matte one and make sure you spray your page on an open spike because 
is a toxic. So I'm just gonna give it a quick spray. It's gonna be wet a little bit, but it's okay. It will dry. So now the page is already dry after I spray the fixy tip. Now I'm gonna go in with the polychromo just to like fix it up a little bit and enhance the um, the smooth of the the colors. I'm sure you can find some alternative colors in Prisma colors as well, but I prefer the polychromo on top of the pastel. So. Um, I have a few of the colors here that is um, similar to the pastel that I use um, which you don't have to use like exactly the same I'm not gonna use all of them I just gonna see like where I need to add in a little bit here and there but the main colors is the light cobalt turquoise light petal green ultramarine violet in the green blue and the helio blue reddish so they are very similar to the colors that we use for the soft pastel and you can use those to just enhance your work so I will start with the light cobalt turquoise right here as you can see is the light cobalt turquoise is a light really light uh, blue that is supposed to be in the middle so I just I'm not brush the pencil hard at all I just go in lightly because you just want to enhance the soft the even of the color you don't want to um, you can press them hard if you want to make it a bit darker but I just gonna like use it as an enhanced pencils instead of make it darker because I Thing is the color value is okay for me and then I will go in with the um, light petal green so, so earlier I would add like the green right here right and we're just gonna add it up make it a bit darker make it a bit more even and with this way you don't need to use a lot of pencil at the start like if you're gonna do this paint in pencil it will take you forever forever to do this paint and I just blend it very like gently you don't need to press it at all it's just Blend it out. And then I have that. Then I think I'll go in with the sky blue a little bit. Just make this one is a little bit more dimensions color. Just blend that green out. And then I will go in with the, um, this one is a helio blue I'm sure so they go in with the helio blue reddish this one right here and you're just gonna continue to add in the color I use it quite gently because I don't want it too dark then I will go in with the cobalt green right here and I just add it right here So you see like it's get it's more color there now. So I just continue to use all this color. Uh, I'm gonna use a in the green blue. This is a dark blue. Just add in right here. So. But for the black, I will use a Prisma color because I found that the Prisma color is really really dark and it's really opaque and I like the opaque of the Prisma color for the dark color
is a little bit of white. This one you can add light soy because it's very opaque. It's go on top of the chalk pastel. So I can go it to make it like a little bit of like glowing, glowing light. Like so, go across the sky. So you can very very light pressure. I don't press them because they are very opaque on top of this. So I'm just gonna add, make add some like really bright, look like it glowing. You can use this to blend the colors out as well. I think I already like put down all the colors that I want to. Now we're gonna make some stars. The star is an important part because that is when you see like all is coming together. So you gotta get your blade. You're gonna squeeze a little bit of um, acrylic paint. Ah! Yeah. So a little bit of acrylic paint on. Now you're gonna add in quite a bit of water, let's say, and you just mix mix the pan. Now it's gonna come a little bit messy. You cover the other page. Just make sure you cover the other page. You don't want acrylic on that page. So you make it quite wet, and you go in with your brush, and you just flick it. You see, you flick it, let's say. And it will make some stir. Ooh. 
So now I think we have enough stuff and I think it's dry now and so what I would like to do is I will go in with the your white gel pen and the gel pen will do I will use a uniball signal so with this you will go in any place that you think um, it need more star that you you miss when you flick the pen so I just go in a few more and now what you do you will draw some you know just random star size but um if you if you want you can like do the real star size but for me i just gonna do like some fake one and then you can do a f one dot right there and you and you just draw some like random um like like say so, that's stuck together like that and and then you do that a few don't do a whole lot just do a few and then you can do like this you draw a uh, what you call this like a diamond shape and you do a few flick and you make it look like a shiny like the star side That's it. That's it. You're done. And as you can see, it gives your page a little bit more character. It's quick to do too. So if, if you like to do this, you can do with other color that you like. So that's it for today's video. As you can see, you can get really, really good result with just soft pastel and a few pencil and you know, just add some star and it just look like a galaxy and you can use this technique for any other colors that you like uh, it's really good for background because it's quick and it's for me it's really really fun so just zoom in you can see so i hope you enjoy this video with me today i hope you learned something new if you like the video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe leave a comment tell me your opinion how i did and what would you like me to do for the next video and i will see you very very soon in the meantime take care and happy coloring bye